It is one of the most reviewed shoe of the last months. It got great reviews. It looks amazing in its colorways. Then what else? Let's give it a try. Welcome back guys in a new video. Uh, I run different training with the new uh, Nova Blast 3. Slow run, tempo run and um, also some sprints and I was surprised. But as always, let's split the video in three different chapters. Uh, the specs, uh, the outsole, midsole and upper and finally the conclusions. Starting from the specs, uh, we have a neutral shoe with maximum cushioning uh, 31 mm in the heel. 23 mm in the forefoot uh, for a drop of 8 mm with a flat foam blast uh, plus which provides lightweight cushioning and uh, uh, responsive rebound an AH ARTM ASX high abrasion rubber outsole uh, which should improve uh, durability a trampoline is part design uh, in the outsole uh, in, in the forefoot uh, which provides uh, a, a more responsive bounce uh, pop up uh, with a heel stabilizer which helps to support uh, um, the foot and create a, a more balanced ride uh, with the uh, uh, jacket mesh upper. I guess it's the same material used in the um, uh, running bra, uh, which uh, provides good comfort and support. And finally, with a uh, the tongue, uh, which uh, reduces uh, uh, tongue sliding. At least 75% of the shoe main upper is made with uh, recycled materials uh, to reduce the waste, which I like a lot. Everything for a weight of 258 grams, 9.1 uh, ounces uh, in my size, US 10 size, approximately 30 grams uh, lighter than the previous version. Well done. Uh, a great achievement uh, for such kind of uh, shoe in uh, the category of uh, uh, the daily trainers. It's mainly uh, a shoe for, for the road, uh, uh, the price is under 50 euro. Uh, there are um, these colorways available in the asics.com website uh, and the fit is true to size. Let's start from the outsole now, but before to go ahead guys, smash like button, activate the notification bell, subscribe if you haven't yet and if you like to contribute for new gears review, uh, you could offer me a coffee using the link uh, down below. As in Italian, uh, I love uh, to drink coffee. Just a remark, this uh, is a pair of shoes that I bought with money and no one is paying me for this week. So let's keep this channel growing, uh, thank you so much for your support, I really appreciate it. Uh, but now let's talk about the hustle. Well, it's quite similar to the previous version, uh, now with a, a wider base uh, which provides a better stabilization. We can even see it uh, in the stability test, quite stable as you can see from the footage, especially if we consider that uh, I have a small pronation, uh, I know, I should train more my feet. The grip was great in all conditions, uh, especially in the road, uh, wet and dry, but it was good also in gravel paths. Of course, I would not run trail paths uh, with this shoe, for that there is a trail version uh, if you are interested. During the light rain days uh, I noticed that uh, there is some slipping, but uh, it was not a problem at all. The sole is not that stiff um, as we can uh, uh, find in other shoes, uh, you can even hear that from the sound. Overall the feeling was great and it gave me a certain confidence uh, in all terrains uh, but especially in the road and in dry conditions. For this household my prediction is uh, at least 400 miles. Looking at the missile, uh, with version 3 ASICS drops the weight uh, 
dramatically uh, more than a full ounce uh, through the uh, use of the platform uh, Blast Plus which uh, is about 20% softer and 20% lighter than the uh, prior uh, uh, Blast form with a stack height of 31 millimeters in the heel 23 millimeters in the forefoot it feels soft and uh, bouncy the measurement with the durometer shows us uh, uh, 30 in the in the heel so very soft and uh, uh, firmer 38.5 in the trampoline to give us a better response uh, in the forefoot and support the pop-up so the midsole is very comfortable because 40 is my personal threshold uh, for comfort below 40 is comfortable uh, for me otherwise it is not there is no torsion system uh, in the midsole but increasing the pace thanks to the uh, trampoline in the forefoot uh, the feeling is not bad at all so let's check the running dynamics i usually collect two dynamics as you know the average ground on the time which reflect the response uh, lower values uh, mean a better response and the vertical oscillation ratio which reflect the running form of efficiency um, lower values indicate a better efficiency in average what we can observe is that uh, the nova blast for both dynamics has good values uh, even in comparison to other shoes uh, we have uh, recently reviewed uh, but the most important inside looking at the data in details is that uh, increasing the pace the nova blast uh, is able to uh, increase the response uh, keeping uh, the vertical oscillation more or less the same so uh, the shoe continue to uh, propel you uh, forward instead uh, then uh, propel you uh, up increasing uh, exactly uh, the efficiency so it reflects exactly the feeling uh, ahead uh, increasing the pace uh, so the shoe continue to propel you forward even if you increase the speed so overall i was impressed because uh, during the slow run it was really comfortable but i ran also below four minutes per kilometer pace uh, uh, and, uh, and still it was comfortable and uh, supporting when they're all in motion of course guys for fast workouts uh, i would prefer lower stockade and uh, a firmer form uh, during the sprints uh, the nova blast uh, shows its, uh, its limitations but nevertheless well done i guess thanks to the trampoline the four foot uh, the result in the end is great when i wore this shoe for the first time uh, uh, I felt like to have too much shoe, especially if you compare uh, the Nova Blast with the Adios 7 or the RC4, for instance, uh, which I'm used to, to run with, but the uh, reduced weight and uh, the trampoline in the forefoot uh, um, helps in this regard, so in the end you will not feel it. Let's talk about the upper now, which is different than in the previous version. The upper is made of an engineered monofilament mesh, with a thinner overlay uh, TPU bands uh, uh, than uh, the previous version. While it is really good for a, a wide foot, uh, it is also very capable of controlling movements uh, due to its strength, uh, so uh, I guess the overlay bands would not be uh, necessary. Of course, I would wish uh, an upper which uh, better wraps my uh, my foot, but I believe in, um, in a daily tenor uh, it is okay and uh, for sure it is not a deal breaker. It's very easy on the foot, uh, comfortable and breathable as you can see from the footage. It seems that the tongue and the internal side of the app are pretty breathable, uh, while the external side of the app uh, looks uh, uh, more solid. The overall experience was good, uh, not hot feet, uh, maybe in the Canary Highlands, uh, but unfortunately I'm not in the Canary Highlands, uh, but rather in north of Europe. Um, anyhow, let's go ahead. The tank is a uh, guest tank uh, which is uh, thinner, lighter and uh, very comfortable. The heel counter in my opinion could be uh, less padded, uh, too much unnecessary padding which uh, of course contribute to uh, increase the weight. So with the thinner counter I guess uh, this should could be uh, even lighter easily. The heel cap is not high therefore uh, it didn't annoy me and uh, it kept my foot locked in place uh, without slipping. Uh, in the heel, uh, something I was uh, worried about uh, uh, looking uh, uh, at all that padding. Instead, the foot lockdown uh, is great, uh, even if I believe the fit could be improved a bit in the forefoot, uh, as I said before. The laces are traditional and flat, uh, as I like, and uh, they work pretty fine. And considering the strength of the upper, I would predict a good durability. So let's come to the conclusion now. For training, I believe it is one of the most uh, comfortable and versatile daily trainer I have run with during this year. Uh, very different than uh, Adidas shoes uh, in dimensions and uh, and fit, but still a shoe I have appreciated to run with uh, at different paces, especially slow and moderate paces. During fast sprints, as I said, uh, it shows uh, its limitation, therefore I would not suggest for fast workouts. For speed days, uh, I prefer a shoe lower to the ground uh, with a firmer uh, midsole. 
the RC4 or the Audio 7. For temporal, definitely I would suggest the Nova Blast, even if I prefer the Evo Rides in this case. But still, uh, it was uh, a good feeling. For racing, no. So overall, the Nova Blast 3 is a great daily trainer. It is light, fun and energetic and I love the colorway I bought. In the next video, I'll give you an update after 100 miles, but so far, I haven't felt any issue in the knees or something which uh, annoyed me. The price, I believe, uh, is slightly too high. Maybe another 30 euro uh, could fit better, but I guess you will find it out there in the market uh, uh, for a lower price, which is uh, a great value for money. A6 already surprised me last year with the uh, uh, Evo Rides, uh, so great shoe for Tempo Run, in my opinion. Uh, if you haven't seen my review, uh, you can find the link up here. And now as well with the Nova Blast 3. So well done, uh, I believe uh, uh, A6 uh, uh, took the right direction. I hope guys, this was interesting. Uh, that's why I'm doing this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet. You know, it's really important for me and this is just a click for you. Leave a like if you like this content and uh, say that as always, as always, thanks for watching and till the next time, keep running. Ciao. <clears throat> Ice in my veins, I've been driving this train. Years in this lane, there's no stopping this flame. Cause I came to the game and I changed it to play. How I like rearranged it to my own domain. Yeah, I got what it takes. Made lots of mistakes. Taking shots, skipping breaks. Feeling lost, feeling great. Popping off, singing straight. Never stop, never changed. All the squad here to play. And I've got something to say, yeah. I work hard each and every day. I get lost in the words I say. I don't push pause, no, I push play. I won't stop till I make a change I withdraw on the things I make I turn flaws into flawless traits I build tall, never captain's face I won't stop till I hear him say